Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about the defensive tackles. And with this list, it's going to be a short one. I just have eight guys here that I have targeted myself that I really like myself. Um, obviously, there's some names here that are missing. Uh, Malik Madal, uh, McDowell, I don't have him here on my list, but uh, I know some guys like him. Uh, um, but uh, this is just my list. This is uh, some names for you guys to get familiar with. Obviously, um, there's a lot more guys here, but I'm going to go with these top eight. These are my guys to keep an eye on for the, the combine. All right, so, and just a reminder, um, Saturday, uh, the combine is going to be covering the quarterbacks, wide receivers, and tight ends. Okay, so, and then on Sunday, defensive line and linebacker. And then Monday, the combine finishes with defensive backs. So, um, get, if you haven't had a chance, go and look at our playlist here. Uh, the draft playlist, I have, um, you know, all the, uh, all the position groups there listed. Um, and so this will be the defensive tackles we're going to go over. So let's go over this list now. Okay. So first question, obviously, do the Cowboys need a defensive tackle? This is basically going to come down to, uh, two things. Do they need, are they going to be able to re-sign Terrell McClain or is he going to be out of their reach? I think they'll find some money here to, to re-sign him. Uh, probably a two to three year deal possibly he does have some injury uh, concerns though he, he does he's not the most healthy player he's missed a lot of time with us so and then you have to wonder about Tyrone Crawford are they gonna bounce him back inside and is he gonna be ineffective again he just hasn't been effective at defensive end and defensive tackle. We saw last season they had him at defensive tackle, ineffective. They bounced him out to defensive end. Um, had a little bump there, but he just he just isn't getting it done. He's not the three tech of this team. The three tech is now Malik Collins, the beast. Can't wait to see this guy in year two. He's gonna do some damage here. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. But so that means that. Uh, we, sh we could be in the market for a defensive tackle, and there, there'll be plenty in this draft class. All right, so this is getting serious. We're talking the big guys in the middle. That means cap mode, okay? So let's go into this. First player I have here, obviously the premier guy, Jonathan Allen. I like this guy. Alabama, 6'3", 291. <laughs> Plays the run well, pressures the quarterback, collapses the pocket. Um, you know, they're going over the medicals um, for him. He's got some shoulder injuries in the past. Um, so they'll take a look at that. But overall, this is the main guy. Uh, that Alabama defense, that had some playmakers all over the place. And this is just another one of them. All right. And then another guy that I like here in the first and second round, Caleb Brantley, Florida, 6'2", 297. He's a traditional three-tech Collapses the pocket and plays the run well. I like this guy. Any people have him in the have him anywhere from the first to third round. For me, I like him in the first to second round based on other guys that are projected to go around at that time. All right. Second to third round guys, Montrevious Adams, Auburn, 6'3", 308. This guy, uh, very impressed with the. Um, the games I've seen of him, he's got a straight up bull rush move that's that's really good. He'll get into the backfield and collapse the pocket. Uh, he's got a high motor, plays the run well, and very disruptive. Auburn, he had a good senior ball. I liked him in that game too. All right, the other guy, Elijah Quells, Washington, 6'1", 321. Disruptive, high motor guy. This guy could be a three or one tech, and of course, He's one of those Washington guys that the Cowboys are probably going to like here. All right. And then my last guy here, Larry Ongunjobi, Charlotte, 6'2", 304. Played every year there it's at the school. Um, quick, burst, disruptive. And the Cowboys met with him at the Senior Bowl. So they have interest in this guy. Let's keep an eye on him in, in this combine and see what he does. All right. The third round, Jaleel Johnson, Iowa. 6'3", 309. This is going to be a Marinelli-type guy. This is a guy that will be right up the Cowboys' alley. High-motor guy. Marinelli likes those high-motor guys. Quick, 
three tech guy. And he also met with the Cowboys at the Senior Bowl. So there's some interest here. This guy could be had in the third round. Pair him up with Malik Collins. Rotate them in and out. That'll be a good, a good push up the middle. A consistent uh, pressure there with those two guys. Fifth round. I like D'Angelo Brown out of Louisville. Played with Malik Collins, 3'12", six foot. He's got some medicals. Very powerful guy, very strong. He gets in the backfield, and he's one of the guys that I liked at the East-West Shrine game. Uh, so check that, that video out there. I had a couple of uh, players I liked from that game. He was, he was one of my favorites of that game. He had a good performance. All right, and then um, Eddie Vanderdos, UCLA, 6'3", 320. This guy has a lot of potential, ACL issue though, and some reoccurring injuries uh, following his ACL injury. So last year, 2015 was wiped out, 2016 marred by other injuries, but it looks like he got healthy here right at the end of the year, and he was able to play in the Senior Bowl. Had a good week of practice there. Um, when he does play, he's a, he's a really effective run stuffer, penetrator into the backfield. Um, he's quick, so the, this is the kind of guy that the Cowboys would like. They also met with him at the Senior Bowl, so let's keep an eye on that guy, all right? So that's just a quick list here of, of my eight guys that I like. Let me know who you guys like, and uh, let me know in the comments. All right, so let's sit back and watch all these combine results come in. I'll have a wrap-up show here um, probably... After all, all this is over, um, some of my rankings, they'll move up and down. I'll have a complete list of players, other guys that, that um, you know, we didn't cover that, that may have shined in, in the combine as well. So keep an eye on that one. So um, we'll see you. I really appreciate you guys. All right. Thank you.